Joe Gass here. Haven't made a Photoshop tutorial in a while, but I was messing around today and thought I'd share it with you guys. So today we're going to be learning how to make an iPhone style button. It's going to look something along the lines of this. Basically your average iPhone button that you do see in a lot of Apple default apps. Sort of like the end call button on the iPhone or the call button, but that is red or green. But I just tried to recreate the style, change the color, and make it suitable for another purpose and share it with you guys. So let's get started on making an iPhone style button. So we're going to make a new layer. It is 200 by 50 and press OK. Then we're going to want to make our background. Just select black and we're going to take our paint bucket tool and fill that in. Next, add a gradient overlay of the white to black default. Let's change the scale down to 10 and it's going to give it that rigid effect. Next, we're going to want to select and make the white kind of a dark gray. This is going to kind of give it a gloss, I guess you could say. Something similar to that. Next thing is we're going to make the button. So select your uh, rounded rectangle tool and change the radius to about 5 and select your button's position. Alright, so once you have that selected, we're going to want to go and select gradient overlay and you're going to want and yours is going to basically look um, default like this so you're going to click that and add another color in the middle by just clicking the middle and you'll get this now the first color you want is going to be your lightest color I have these presets that I have just made before and I'm just going to paste that in the middle is going to be your darkest color and the last one is going to be darker than the first one, but lighter than the middle one. It should look like that, unless you're using a different color than me. Alright, next we're going to want to add a gloss. So create a new layer, take your foreground color to white, and choose the selection tool. Hold command on the mask of your button, then hold option and shift and make a selection somewhat around the middle and it's gonna do this. Now take your paint bucket tool and fill that in with white. We're gonna want to probably resize that to make it centered a little bit more and that's good. So change your opacity to 20 and it'll give it that nice gloss effect. Next add our text. So we're gonna want to create some text here. I'm gonna call it cloud because it is uploading. It's going to basically be an example of a button that's going to upload things to the cloud, which is basically uploading it online to share with your friends. We're going to change the style, add a drop shadow, change the angle to negative 90, and make the size 0 and the distance 1. And it's going to give it that indent effect, which is exactly what we're looking for. I have a bunch of these uh, vectors here. You might not have them, but you could search some online and find exactly what I have. And you're just going to want to find an icon that's suitable for your, uh, for your button. Now, obviously, mine's the cloud, so I'm going to get that and drag that in. I'm going to add a color overlay, make it white, and then add the drop shadow with the exact same effect as before gonna resize that and put it right next to my text try to get it as centered as possible I'm gonna select these layers put it in the center of the button and that's that so what we want to do now is add a indent effect to the button now the button doesn't look like it's actually inside of the background which is the effect of the Apple buttons so we want to double click and add a bevel and emboss select outer bevel, change the depth to 100% and the size to maybe 2, maybe 3, whatever you think um, is good. I'm going to go with 2 and we want to change this to sort of a uh, middle tone gray because if the indent isn't 100% white, it's just very small and unnoticeable but gives it that effect. So that's basically it. That's how to make a 
Apple iPhone style button. I'm gonna have the PSD in the description for you to download. If you want to use this in your apps, just say that, just please give me credit in the About This app, and that's all I'd like. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and have a nice day. Peace.